Um... Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very fun, silly, crazy challenge video planned. I feel like we haven't done a really weird challenge, one that makes no sense, you know, in a really long time. So we're doing one of those today. So I'm gonna try and do my full face using chalk. I got two different types, both from Crayola. One is this washable sidewalk chalk with so many different colors in there. I thought for sure, no problem. I'll have every color I could need for a full face. And then I have the smaller sticks here. I don't really know how this is gonna go. It could be a disaster, could go well. Who really knows? We'll see. Crayola also did come out with real makeup, but we're gonna try and see if we can do makeup with the chalk, not the actual makeup. Why? Because it's a challenge and we're feeling crazy, that's why. But before we get started, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I will remind you to hit the red button down below before we carry on with the video because I promise you're gonna like this video. So you're gonna wanna be subscribed so you can watch my future videos. Without further ado, let's get into seeing how this goes. So normally I would start out with primer, but I mean, priming your face with chalk to just put on some more chalk is probably not gonna do anything. So we'll skip right into foundation. Now we have quite a bit of options here for foundation. This is probably a better shade range than a lot of brands give you these days, which is sad. That is just sad. Beauty industry, do better. But what do we got here? Let's see, what's the closest to me? Maybe I can mix some shades. I don't really know. What am I doing? What am I doing? Wow, these are really cool. I haven't played around with chalk in a really long time. This shade kind of looks like it could do. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to try and make this work if we gotta add water, I don't know. Also, it says non-toxic and I mean, I've watched episodes of My Strange Addiction where people eat chalk and they don't die. I am addicted to chalk. I love the texture of it, I love the taste. So I'm assuming this is gonna be okay for a one-time trial thing. I might break out tomorrow, but it is what it is. Does this even do anything? Let's see. It's not doing anything. Let's try spraying it. We're gonna do this if it kills me. We're gonna make it work. Let's see if I spray it. Okay, that's giving me a little more color. No wonder no one's done this idea. It clearly isn't working out for me. <laughs> So I've crushed some of the chalk up into like a fine powder dust. So hopefully it'll go on like a foundation powder. Let's see. Don't wanna get any chalk in my hair, but we wanna get it on my face. Like what, Sylvia? Moment of truth. I didn't crush it up fine enough. It's getting everywhere. Is it covering up that redness? No, it's just getting all dusty and I'm breathing it in. Oh, it's in my eye. Hold please. So I've now concocted a paste. I have sprayed that fine powder with Fix Plus and created a paste that is really grimy and disgusting. Hopefully it'll give us a little bit of coverage. Bingo! Except this is definitely not my shade. It kind of looks like a bronzer. Let's try and blend it out. Ooh, it's working! Shouldn't have worn white. Played myself, for sure. Congratulations. You played yourself. You guys, it's actually working. Wow, it's giving me a light coverage. The finish, definitely not matte yet. We'll wait for it to dry down a little bit. I mean, it's chalk, so I'm assuming it's gonna give me a matte finish, but maybe that Fix Plus just gave it these new properties. Oh, it's feeling tight as it's drying down. It's looking a little splotchy right now. Let me try and blend down my neck. Oh no, oh no, that is not good. It's okay. The fact that it's actually even showing up is making me happy. Hold please, need to make some more of my concoction. So we've got the crushed up chalk, we've got a couple spritz of Fix Plus, mix it all together, and what do you get? You get your chalk foundation paste. Oh no. Oh, this just doesn't feel great. This doesn't feel great at all. It's all over my legs. There seems to be a large chunk that just will not blend away. Pieces are flicking up into my eye. I really thought this would be easier than this. Let me just pick it away. Oh, this side is drying down and it's looking disgusting. This is the greatest challenge of all time. It's a true challenge. So the key is you really need to crush the chalk up really fine because those little pieces are gonna get you. I mean, they are just sticking on my forehead there. I mean, you definitely have to work quick. The paste seems to go back to its chalk form pretty quickly and then at that point, it's pretty difficult to blend it around. It seems to be buildable though. Let's try and cover up the zits for some extra coverage. Oh yeah. I mean, it's getting splotchier, but it's okay because we're, we're covering the zits, so it's worth it. Oh, those chunks are looking real good. Chalk in my eyebrow, chalk in my eyebrow, in my nose. 
Ooh, she's looking rough. A piece fell from my eyebrow into my eye. I'm thinking once everything dries down, it might even out a little bit because the parts that are already dry get lighter and then it just looks, it looks very splotchy, but I'm telling you it's gonna pull through in the end, fingers crossed. All right, now for a concealer, we want something a little lighter for that brightening power, you know, cover up our dark circles. I feel like this is the move. I'm just crush all that up. This is actually harder than I thought. I'm putting in work here. I'm getting a little bit of a workout. The special sauce, it's looking a little bit more orange once I put the special sauce in there. Are we still gonna go for it? Yep. I don't wanna waste any. Let's use whatever's left over on the brush there. Oh, that does not feel good. Let's just uh, try and blend that around. This is fairly close to my eye and I'm a little concerned. It's not really doing a great job of blending into the foundation or at all. Definitely need to mush it down a little more. Maybe a second layer will help. Mm, probably not. This really feels absolutely disgusting. Oh, it's, it's scratching my face. So there we have the concealer. It's a little chunky to say the least. I don't know why I thought this would work, but we're gonna carry on because I mean, we're in it now. I'm hoping once it dries a little bit, you know, you're gonna be able to see the color. You're gonna be able to see the brightening capabilities and it's really gonna pull it off, but we're, we're gonna have to wait and see on that. Let's just move on to eyebrows. So I'm thinking this shade will be good for my brows. That might be a little bit light, but I mean, the next option would be black and we're not doing that. So let's see if we can just fill in the brows by just drawing right on them without making the paste. I mean, it's doing a little something, something. Not much though. Looking like we're gonna have to make the paste. All right, here we go. Oh no, that's just definitely not imitating small hairs. Hey, I feel like this you could actually kind of get away with if it was the right shade. I mean, it's still horrid, but it's kind of working out better than the foundation and concealer. No, I spoke too soon. It's flaking off. What is happening to the front of my brow? Let's persevere. Hey, the tail of my brow is actually looking flaky. Ooh, honey, what brow product is that? Chalk. This one actually doesn't look that bad. Look at my concealer. <laughs> I just realized it was dried down. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe we can try and dust some of that away. We'll make it work. So now that the product is on the brows, let's go ahead and try and brush the front to give us more of a natural look. Ooh, the hairs, it kind of acts like a brow gel too because the hairs are stiffer. I'm giving myself a boy brow. They're not that bad. The brows actually look pretty decent compared to the rest of my face. That's surprising. So let's move on to eyeshadow. I want to do something that kind of matches the backdrop. So let's go in with some blue. We've got the blue powder. Let's see if we can pack that on the lid. I wonder if I'll need to make a paste. Let's see. It's definitely giving us zero color. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's applying a little chalky. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. I'm funny. Whoa, it's actually applying. What? Chalk eyeshadow? I mean, I'm not that surprised because there's some brands that their eyeshadows kind of look like this. No shade though. Okay, a little shade. Wow. So it's more successful than our face makeup, clearly. So we're gonna apply that just all over the lid, right up to the crease, honey. Instead of making that paste, I'll just wet my brush with the product on it and I'll just pack that on. Nope, that didn't help very much. Nope, that just made it patchy. Okay. Give me that cobalt blue that I know it's supposed to look like. I'm asking too much from chalk, to be honest. 3,000 layers later and um, almost scratching off my eyelid. I'm gonna move on to another color. I'm gonna clean up the inner corner with some concealer just to create a blank space there so the chalk can actually show up. Okay, so on that inner corner part, I wanna do a yellow. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's actually working. Will we be able to get these shades to blend into each other? Probably not, but at least it's showing up. It's a little chunky. Let's try and blend them together using the blue brush. Oh, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Looked in the monitor, pretty bad. There's just a lot of chunks I can't seem to get rid of and we're gonna have to deal with them. We're gonna just have a textured eye. It's a look. I mean, I keep trying to layer them and then they just keep kind of lifting and splotching and I don't know what I thought I was gonna do with it. It's chalk, so let's just move on. Let's try and do some black winged liner because why not? I mean, look at my face. We can't get any worse from here. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Thin. I've given up on the eyeshadow. Let's see if a wing liner can fix it. Oh God, oh. Oh my God, that's actually working. Are you kidding me? Did I just do a wing? If you can call that a wing. What? Another eye, let's see. Oh, I went a little heavy handed at the, at the end there. It's just so thick. That's what she said. But wow, would you look at that? She's got some wings on her eyes. I'm very shocked that I was kind of able to do something that resembles winged eyeliner. It was really hard to work with because it's like chunky, but also very liquidy. Like this texture, I can't expect explain to you guys how disgusting it feels on my face and my eyes and everywhere. There's definitely no way I'm gonna try and use that as a mascara. So let me just put on regular mascara. We're 
gonna cheat. Not like it's gonna help. That under eye though. Ooh, I look like I've been mummified for thousands of years. Hey, the mascara actually helped the eye look a little bit. Who am I kidding? It's still hideous. Let me see if I can help this under eye concealer situation by kind of like blending a little bit. Blending and trying to get rid of some of those chunks. Maybe we'll be left with a nice cast of like light. I don't know what I'm thinking, but all I know is that looks terrible, so. Oh, this is the new baking technique. You just gotta let the chalk crust over, then you're left with a flawless under eye. What? It's the weirdest sound of it like flaking off my face. This is definitely the most attractive I've ever looked in any of my videos. Definitely a lot better. It's the new baking technique. My under eye looks fresh awake, brightened, there's no creasing, and it's blended flawlessly into my foundation. So now let's move on to bronzer. We'll use the same one that we used for my brows for bronzer. So bronzer's ready to go, and I just know that this is gonna go really well. Let's just start with a light stippling technique and hope for the best. Oh, okay, no, no, let's blend that, let's blend. It's a little harsh. <laughs> move on to the other side and see if we can get some of that product over there, and we can't. Okay, let's go back and try to blend that away. And and we can't. Oh, it's like a really thick layer of chalk on my cheek though. I'm not liking that. I'm trying very hard to make this work, you guys. I'm really trying, but it's impossible. Let's try and uh, bronze up the forehead. Oh yeah, it's kind of working. Looking very muddy, but I mean, at least it's showing up. If I break out tomorrow, I'm gonna cry. Please like the video just because I'm probably gonna break out because of this. And subscribe while you're liking the video too. Thank you so much while you're down there. You know the rule, like if you just keep blending, it'll get better. That doesn't really apply with chalk, I feel like. Okay, so that's as good as the bronzer is gonna get. Moving on to blush. This looks like a really pretty blush shade. We got our mixture. Oh, let's just do a little dab and then we'll blend it out because that, that just seems like it's a lot. We're looking a little clownish right now. Just a little. Let's try and blend. And I wouldn't call that blending. I would call that smearing. Why? <laughs> it made it so ugly. It was ugly before, but this is worse. What is this line? Can we just blend into the other chalk colors, please? Just give me that. I'm being very aggressive with my face. I'm gonna wake up with so many wrinkles. I don't think it works that fast, but probably. Okay, I feel like the blush is something I probably shouldn't have made a paste for, because it's obviously very pigmented and it's kind of taken over. And we're gonna have to deal with it. There's nothing more I can do with my face. We're gonna move on to lips. We're keeping it fun. We're keeping it playful. Let's try and do a pink lip. Go with our beautiful blue eye. Here goes nothing. Wait, that went on really nicely. I'm confused. Whoa, why is this more pigmented than a lot of lip products I've tried before? It tastes disgusting. Please do not taste chalk. This tastes really gross. How does that lady have an addiction to chalk that tastes disgusting? Have you guys seen that episode of My Strange Addiction? Craziness, I tell you. This is the only thing that's worked this whole time. It looks so good. What the heck? I'm so stoked right now. Mm -mm -mm. Just me applying my lipstick. Oh, this? Chalk, yeah, it's Crayola. So it applied really nicely when it was wet, but now it's kind of drying down and it's looking a little crusty along with the rest of our face. Keywords today, crusty, chunky, chalky, all the C's. All right, you guys, does that complete the final look? I think so. Let me work it real quick. Admire Admire, admire. I mean, they can't all be winners. Some look so good, some looks not so good. I will say one thing, it was definitely a challenge. I feel like usually I can make challenges work, gets you to go outside of the box sometimes, and I don't know, but this was obviously just really silly, and it was fun to see if you could even use chalk for a full face of makeup, and I think some things you kinda can, the brows are probably the best part. For sure, the brows are the best part. But let me give you guys a close up so you can see how disgusting this actually looks on my face. Not very good. Not very good at all. But the brows, kind of on fleek. Not gonna lie to you. So that's all for today's video. Make sure you guys are tagging your favorite beauty gurus to try out this challenge because I wanna see if anybody can make it work. I wanna see what people come up with. I think it's a lot of fun and I think it could be cool. Leave me some other challenge suggestions down below that you guys wanna see me try out. They can be as crazy as something like this or something a little bit more reasonable. I don't know. Up to you. Use your imagination. But before you go, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel by clicking this little circle of my face right over here. And then make sure you're checking out one of my other videos. Just click one of these boxes right here to keep on watching the Sylvia Gandy channel. I'll be right there if you click it. You'll see me again. I won't go away. I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Mwah. Bye.